Hi, my name is Liz Gilgis and I'm on the baptismal preparation team. The sacraments have always been an important part of my life, yet I think they're quite mysterious and we don't understand how they transform us through grace. So I thought if I could help young parents understand better the truth and beauty and goodness of the sacrament of baptism, then I wanted to be a part of it. When my six children were baptized, I was a sleep deprived young mom and planning a party and I don't think I understood fully in the moment what was happening. It wasn't until I became a godparent seven times over that I said, wow, this is serious business. It's a life changing event. And I'm happy that the parents are taking this first step in their child's faith journey, but I, it's only the first step. And so I remind them that they are the primary educators when it comes to the faith and that they cannot give what they don't have. So now is the time to study, practice, and live their faith so they can pass on the truth and the beauty and the goodness that they received in baptism. Perhaps parents will feel a little bit lost when it comes to the faith. Maybe they haven't been practicing regularly. Well, this is simply how babies make us better people. They bring us back into the church and they keep us on our knees, so to speak. Baptism is a free gift from God and the baby doesn't have to do anything to merit it. So we should just say yes and accept it and embrace this gift. It has been rewarding for me to be a small stepping stone in this process of bringing a child into God's family. I would say if you have a love of the sacraments, if you have been touched by God's grace in your life, if you are in awe and wonder at how this actually happens, then I hope that you will join our team. We need real witnesses. Some practical points. It's a very small time commitment. You may only get two uh, parents a month, and I spend about a half an hour with each one. I would say brush up on the basics of baptism by reading the two pages in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. And then lastly, pray and ask God if he is asking you to be a conduit to bring others into his family, which is the church. Thank you.